Lubodrag Duchi Simonovic Serbian Cyrillic Lubodrag Duchi Simonovic pronounced Lubodrag Dutsi Sim Noit, born the 1st of January 1949 is a Serbian philosopher author and retired basketball player he played with Red Star Belgrade, with which he won two national championships, three national cups and one FIBA European Cup Winners Cup. From 1976 to 1978, he played for one. FC01 Bamberg in the top-tier level German basketball Bundesliga. Simonovic played for the senior Yugoslav national basketball team that won the gold medal at the 1970 FIBA World Championship. He was also a three-time FIBA European selection. Early life Born in Vernjaka Banja to parents Jevram Simonovic and Alanka Dobai, both of whom worked as hairdressers, young Lubodrag grew up in Kraljevo with an older brother Vladimir. Their father Jevram, a Montenegrin Serb born 1911 in Kolosin whose mother died while giving birth to him and whose father died right after World War I, made a living as a tradesman in addition to hairdressing he also worked as a seamster and tailor and over time developed a staunchly communist worldview. Simonovic's mother Alanka, born in 1921, came from a mixed background, born to German mother Anna Schumitz and Hungarian father Janos Debay, a left-leaning officer who participated in the ultimately unsuccessful 1919 Hungarian Revolution before fleeing over the border into the recently established Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes to escape the white terror of Miklos Horthy. Janos initially settled in Sabatica and eventually in Kraljevo where he worked as a machinist. Dusi's mother Alanka later converted to Orthodox Christianity and took the name Yelena. As a kid, Simonovic took up chess, which he was taught at age five by his father, an avid player himself. Simonovic played the game frequently, later citing it as the first arena in which his competitive nature had been displayed. He also loved playing football. As a freshman at the University of Belgrade, Duci took part in the 1968 student protests. He got the nickname Duchi after the Hungarian word Bochi. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Club basketball career. Simonovic started out with KK Sloga from Kraljevo. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Red Star Belgrade. Simonovic moved to Belgrade in 1967 at the age of 18 in order to play for KK Cervena Zaveda as the latest addition to a talented squad led by 26-year-old Vladimir Kvetkovic with a slew of up-and-coming youngsters such as 19-year-old small forward Dragan Kapisic and 18-year-old mercurial point guard Zoran Slavnik. Having graduated from the 11 Belgrade Gymnasium and simultaneous to his duties at the club, Simonovic enrolled at the University of Belgrade's Faculty of Law, attending lectures and studying for exams. 1968–69 season Coached by Milan Bjegajevic, Zaveda, somewhat improbably, won the 1968–69 Yugoslav League title in Dusi's third season at the club. 1969–70 season Winning the Yugoslav League title meant an automatic qualification to the European Champions Cup for the following 1969–70 season. Starting off well against lesser opposition in the early rounds, Zaveda eventually got into a difficult quarter-finals group, losing all three of its home and away ties against Alexander Gomelski's defending European champion CSKA Moscow, Aka Nikolic's Varez, and even the seeming minnows of the group ASVEL. On the domestic front, the club surrendered its title, finishing second to Olympia as Simonovic recorded another stellar season that recommended him for national head coach Ranko Zarevika's Yugoslav national squad at the 1970 FIBA World Championship. 1970–71 season Coming off the greatest success of his career, being part of the squad that won the 1970 World Championship, Simonovic continued developing his game as Zaveda went through a head coaching change with Dord Andrijezevic being brought in as replacement to the longtime head coach Bjegajevic. Andrijezevic wouldn't end up sticking around for long, victim of Zaveda's another indifferent season in the Yugoslav League despite winning the Yugoslav Cup. 
In 1971, Simonovic graduated from the University of Belgrade's Faculty of Law. 1971–72 season Bada Dordovic became the new head coach, infusing new energy into the team by introducing new players Goran Rakasevic and Dragasa Vucinic as Zaveda began piling up wins, both in the Yugoslav League and in European Cup Winners' Cup. Simonovic, who turned 23 years of age midway through the season, became the team's number one option on offence, putting up tremendous scoring numbers. Among his many stellar displays throughout the season, one stood out playing away at Hala Sportova against the eternal crosstown rivals KK Partizan he scored 59 points. Making this feat even more impressive is the fact that the three-point shot hadn't been implemented yet. The season ended dramatically, as Zaveda lost the Cup Winners' Cup final in Thessaloniki 70-74 versus Olympia Milano in late March 1972 before finishing the domestic league with the identical 17-5 record as KK split Jugoplastica, which meant playing a single-game playoff decider for the title. Zaveda won 75-50 thus claiming its second title in three years. 1972–73 season By the summer of 1972, the slavnik simonovic kapisic trio had finally seemingly matured and big things were expected in the upcoming season. Despite Simonovic having an incident-filled summer with the national team at the 1972 Olympics, he was initially able to put it behind him and contribute greatly to Zaveda's European Cup run. However, all was not well inside the Zaveda locker room as a simmering rift between local Belgrade-born and raised players who came up through the club's youth system Slavnik and, Kapisic and those brought in from the outside Simonovic and Vucinic had been gaining in intensity. Clicks were being formed within the squad and things eventually boiled over on 10 January 1973 in Tel Aviv during the away contest versus Maccabi, the first game of the quarter-finals group stage. Zaveda had been leading throughout the game with Ducci pouring in baskets from all positions, however, he was not satisfied with the frequency and the quality of passes he's being fed by point guard Slavnik. Slavnik in turn didn't like Simonovic's attitude so he decided to stop distributing the ball to him entirely. It wasn't long before Simonovic threw a fit, cursing out coach Dordovic right on the floor for not reacting to what's going on, as everything fell apart. Despite Simonovic scoring 38 points, Zaveda still ended up losing 113-102. Upon returning to Belgrade, Simonovic got fined U-300,000 by Zaveda for excessive individualism and inappropriate behavior. Deeply dissatisfied over what had transpired and extremely stung by the fine, right after playing a Yugoslav league game versus KK Zeleznichar Karlovac, Simonovic announced a decision to stop playing basketball, saying he'd like to devote his time and efforts to science, having already been pursuing a master's degree in law after earning an undergraduate law degree two years earlier. Considering Simonovic had just turned 24 years of age, the Yugoslav media went into overdrive, speculating on the real reasons for what it considered to be a shocking decision. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National team career. Simonovic debuted for the senior Yugoslav national basketball team at age 17, going on to make 109 appearances with them in total, and scoring a total of 1,018 points. His playing career ended, while he was a player coach in Stara Pazova, due to a burst capillary in his throat. At the Eurobasket, he played in 23 games, at the FIBA World Cup he played in 6 games, and he also had 4 appearances in the Summer Olympic Games, and 15 at the Balkan Games. Altogether, he won six gold medals and two silver medals. For Red Star Belgrade, he wore number 11 while for the national team, he wore number 5. 1972 Summer Olympics The Yugoslav national team arrived to Munich, for the 1972 Summer Olympics, as the reigning world champions from Ljubljana 1970, and still hoping to win one of the medals, though the team was quite changed. The team's victory over Italy, 85-78, at the beginning of the tournament improved their expectations, but in the second round, the Yugoslav team was defeated by Puerto Rico, by a score of 79-74. 
It was later proven that two players from the Puerto Rican side had used illegal doping substances, prompting a protest from the Yugoslav players. Simonovic however aged 23, was ejected from the team, upon continuing to protest after the Yugoslav players had been silenced. Yugoslavia eventually finished fifth in the tournament. Topic. Writing After his retirement from sport he has written various books, including Rebellion of Robots, Professionalism or Socialism, Olympic Deception of the Divine Baron Pierre de Coubertin. His books center around a critique of Olympism and professional sports. He authored a piece about the mystery behind the 1987 death of German heptathlete Birgit Dressel at the age of 27. Topic. Published books Pabuna Rabada Rebellion of Robots, 1981 Sport Capitalism Distrachia Sport Capitalism Destruction, 1995 Filosofsky Aspekti Modernog Olympisma Philosophical Aspects of the Modern Olympism, 2001 Olympijska Podvala Olympic Deception, 2007 Novi Svet Zemogik A New World is Possible, 2007 USTAJ Radnice, Rise Up, Worker, 2011 Poslednia Revolusiha The Last Revolution, 2013 Topic. Personal life Simonovic is married and has three children. He earned his magister degree in law from the University of Belgrade Faculty of Law and a doctorate in philosophy from the University of Belgrade Faculty of Philosophy. Topic. See also. K. K. Servena Zaveda accomplishments and records. Yugoslav first federal basketball league career stats leaders. Topic. References. Topic. External links. Ducey's blog. Lubodrag Simonovic at Olympics at sports-reference.com. Lubodrag Simonovic at FIBA. FIBA Europe profile. Introduction: Olympic movement and the new world order by Lubodrag Simonovic via NorthstarCompass.org. Interview 2008 in Serbian, Lubodrag Duci Simonovic Money invited the Mafia into sports. <laughs>